Uh, hello, this is David Birch at Star Path School of Navigation in Seattle with another, uh, basically, an illustration to an article we have in our blog post. Uh, this is the blog. It is about uh, making, it's about a detail of an earlier blog, the earlier post. Here is this one, uh, which we did earlier about how to load weather maps. Uh, weather maps into Open Captain or any other eChart program, and there's a video about that, turns out. And then uh, the key to that was uh, using this so called header file here. And so what we are going to do now is go back and discuss the production of that header file, which and also provide some references here for the general BSB format that's used in these e charts of raster navigation charts RNC. And let me actually, before I just add it here. If you want to learn about these, here's a section from the Open Captain, uh, Open Captain uh, Manual, which tells about this uh, cap files and the headers. Here, see text headers, uh, you know, and so forth. So that's a short description there. But if you really want to learn the nitty gritty, then you go down here to the International Hydrographic Office and go to this link. This is a zip file of about four or five different uh, sections that explain the process in detail and actually give out several examples. And then this is a shorter uh, a way that uh, you can validate, uh, validate the files. And it has the definition, you know, this is a shorter description and it has the definitions. Uh, BSB file format and the requirements and then you get the various terms defined here and uh, so on. So these references uh, these references are in the article here at the bottom of the article about the headers and uh, so we're going to actually just look at how to make one of these headers and there's all these steps here uh, oh these are the different videos and then here are the steps you download the image we download the image, we read the size of the image, and that's the parameter that goes in the header. Uh, and then this is the meters per pixel. This is like a crucial number that goes in there. And then uh, these other steps here are all laid out. Uh, and I want to show actually just, just the nuances of uh, fixing these ends here. So let's just go and get a map. Um, a map to look with this is 24 hour forecast we don't want that so here's the, the page of marine we're doing the pacific ocean for now some of these headers by the way work um, for multiple maps and we'll have a table of that later this one we're going to do the surface analysis which is this surface analysis map here so the first thing i need to do is just save that map Save the image and look at these. These come out as a PNGs. PNGs. It turns out that 24-hour maps that they provide, same people down the hall, they give them to us as gifts. That uh, is hard to. I don't understand that, but there they go. And then we'll just save that file. So that file saved. So then let's just go here. Uh, no, wait a minute. Uh, here, there's the file. Uh, let's see. No, I'll just click it. Okay, so that open. Now that default opened up into um, opened up in. This is on a Mac right now, and it opened up into Preview. And um, the issue is, you see, these come these maps. If I look at these, they have a really nice border here, right on some longitude, which is um, 171, 2, 3, 4. 175. Very nice there and very nice here over 120, 119, 18, 17, 16, 15. So those borders are very, very nice. The problem is the tops. The top is not exactly at the border. It's a little bit off up here and it's not at all, uh, not at all lined up down here. 
with the if with the actual image. Now, one solution is just go and crop this image right down to these borders. Then, in a sense, life is simpler. But then you'd have to do that every single time. And the goal here is to make a header that you could just download this file and click the image cap program and you make your map. And you don't have to do anything else. Every time be exactly the same and not have to do that. So the way you get around that is we have to know there's a latitude longitude 20 north 170 west right here we have to know what's the latitude and longitude of these corners down here in the corner of the image itself and one and so we and we need to know in pixels so we could look here at the image uh, this guy image information does that tell me information yeah see this this is an image is 1332 pixels that way now you might have to zoom in yeah, you see, so it's 13, it's 1332 pixels across this way, and then there's 1600 pixels down this way. But we, but we need to know what this pixel one one, or you could put zero zero, but I'm scary with I'm scared of zero zero, so I put one one here, and then over here would be um, would be the 1332. The way these cap cap files measure the dimensions is this is the reference so this is plus x direction going that way and this is a plus y direction going that way that's the way they do it and then uh, look at this this is a mac i download this picture on a mac the interesting thing is if you download the identical picture on a pc this would come out 96 dpi that's uh, some argument between microsoft and apple of how they're going to do that, but it's not a number that matters. This pixels per inch is just related to printing the document. It doesn't enter into anything. But once there is, but we have to say what we're going to use. And once we say what we're going to use, we have to be consistent throughout the process. So it doesn't matter what you use there for the pixels per inch, but you got to use, be consistent. That's explained in the instructions there. So that's the image we want. And so now you need just some way to measure what's going on down there in the corner. And uh, in principle, you can do something just like if you could see that, you could just do this. And that's kind of measuring something there, 33, 38 pixels. But the thing to be careful about is you got to go to view and be sure you're looking at the actual size. In, in the PC, it's called normal view or something. Here it's called actual size. Now you can go to the bottom and you get, uh, you get this, uh, this picture here like this. You see, so that's something a little bit like 36. I'd have to, you know, something like 36 pixels down there. And then you also have to know how big is one degree. And so you get that there. So that's one way to do it. But you can, you know, and that's that's maybe adequate for these weather map things that we're doing. In fact, it's for sure adequate. But if you do want to do better, you could uh, you could take this. Uh, let me just see here what I've got. If I can go uh, right click, no, no, I don't want to open it. I want to. Well, let me just go to the downloads and find that image. There, that's it right there. Now I can right click and open with and do you can use a fancier program like Adobe Photoshop or there's an open source program called GIMP, G-I-M-P, and that will do it too. Now these have the advantage is that you can you can zoom these guys way in like that and still get an honest measure of the pixels. You see, there that's like 37 pixels. And then so that's a if a tool like this makes it a lot easier. So it looks like the height of that's 20 uh, 23 pixels for one degree. And so you have to scale one degree down here and and add that. And you see this is this is 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. So you're down, that's 15, so you're 14 something here. And that and the examples are in the uh, in the book. I mean not in the book, in the uh, in the article. So that then is the uh, the main thing you want to do. Let's see. 
these are then the, then you then you just go down here we're making constructing this file and i would uh, this i think i have this down here stripped to the bare minimum that you need the bare minimum that you need for one of these header files the normal header files have a lot more information but uh, the NA is like the name of the chart. I don't, you could probably have spaces here, but what I, to make things simple, I just put that all one word. And then NU is actually the number of the chart. And the, strangely, the number of the chart is an index number. It's not even really the number of the chart. But just for these map, weather maps, we just put this always the same. And again, those references in the article itself tell you precisely what these different terms mean. And then this is probably, you look this up, I think this is the sound, like that would be fathoms or feet or something. And this might be mean low or low water or something. This is, these are the critical numbers as explained in the article. This is the number of meters, the number of meters per pixel. So if you go back to that image, uh, if you go back to the image, you could do something like... Uh, well, you could figure out that, you know, I'm just doing this. Oh, it's probably not even the right scale. You better always be sure that you're on actual pixels. So you see, you're looking here like uh, something like in this case, something like two, let's see, is that right? Yeah, 264 pixels is equal to, this is a, t these are 10 degrees probably. Yeah, that's a 600 miles. So 600 miles, and then the formula tells you how you go through and, and do that. And the way that we did it in the book to get, because remember, this is a huge range here. So this, uh, whatever you put, is not going to be accurate everywhere. And uh, so we used some average. And then what I did here was I just took, uh, I took all the way to, to uh, 1,200 miles and said, it's that many pixels, and said this is valid at 40 north. That seems to work. But that's how you get the pixels, and then you go follow through the formulas that are in this article. And then these are, then once you have that, and you then you know the then you know the latitude and longitude of each corner of the chart. And then you would put them down here. These are the corners of the charts where you have a pixel, that's the first corner, second, third, fourth. And this is 14.391 latitude. The convention is a north is a plus, uh, and a west longitude is minus. So this is a latitude and longitude of the first. Now, here's another important point. When you do these, and uh, this is what actually, uh, uh, this is what threw me off for a long time. What, what you have to do is you must have this corner be number one. Down here, the southwest Southwest corner must be number one, number two, number three, number four. So that's the way that works. Those have to be the corners. So that's one, two, three, four, southwest going clockwise. Now these reference points are just calibration points, geo-referencing points throughout the chart. And I just, and these you can have 10, you have to have at least three, but you could have 10, then you could have the real charts, I'll show you in a moment, have a lot. But, um, so that's the pixel, pixel location 1, 1600, and that's a lat lawn, pixel 2. I just copied these and put them there and say that's going to do. I just want the minimum we need to do to make this work. So that is, that is the main job. And uh, so just one last thing. Uh, let me show you something uh, that you can do. Go to Finder. And now I want to go to Downloads and Charts. Uh, I should... Let me go into my chart. Okay, here's Charts. Oh, there's... Okay. These are all the different charts. What's this one for? That's the one I had open. All right, now you could... Just the, this is what when you download from NOAA one of these charts from NOAA you get a folder like this and if you opened up that folder you would see three files one is just some agreement that your legal agree I don't know whether it is uh, tells about your legal agreements and your warnings and things like that that's a that is a plain text file that doesn't go into the map at all this is a short description of what's in this cap file but this one the cap file is the real map. See, that's like 
that's the short three. This one's 6.8 megabytes. Now, I'm on a Mac, and on a Mac, I can right-click this and say open with and say text edit. If you just click it, it won't know what to do. But you could say open with text edit, and I get it. So now I've actually opened that this cap file that shows you one very interesting thing about it. And just first very rough. The top of it is actually ASCII text, just plain ASCII text. But then down the line somewhere, you start the map. And there you go. So this is a very unusual file in that this is binary code of the image all the way here. The vast, see the vast bulk of it is this binary code. But the top of it is just plain ASCII text. And this ASCII text up here is what's crucial to make the thing work. And you're not hurting anything by opening these up, but you see here's the here's the name of this one, Rosario Strait South Part. That number 60C, and that's the number, that's Noah's number for the chart. It has nothing to do with the chart number, it's some index of their own. And there's the dimension size of this map. I mean this this image file that they're using. This is 400 dpi. Doesn't mean anything, it's just a uh, for what for what it's doing as long as it's consistent and then here's the scale this is a 1 to 25,000 chart you know and so on and so you can open that then these what you have next in this cap file these are the definitions of all the reference points see look the every the fish pins the lighted dot flare symbol all these things are here on this one and then down here is a whole bunch of color these are the colors it's a four bit color uh, and then these are the colors for different schemes that you could turn on for nighttime, dusk, daytime, grayscale, whatever. And then these are the reference points that they've calibrated. And those are all the ones they defined upstairs there. And then these, these have to do with the accuracy of the chart, I think, relative to the datum or the shift in datum. You have to read the manual on that. It's in that reference. And then that's that. So that's these. That's what the actual map files look like we're dealing with. And the ones that we're making with these weather maps are just very simplified uh, versions of those. And uh, I think that's where I will stop here. And that's the, again, these are just some notes to illustrate this article. The, the bulk of the content of the article is here online in text.